to Craftery, Crafts Plus History by PragerU Resources for Educators and Parents. Today is special because I've got friends with me, Will. Hello. And Amala. Hi. All right, you two, do you have any idea what we're doing here? No I have idea. No idea. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Today is a little bit different than a regular Craftery because instead of a craft, we're actually hosting a 4th of July declaration ceremony for you, have you ever heard of a 4th of July declaration ceremony? No. I haven't. You haven't because it's something very unique to PragerU. This is a party that you can have at home with your family and friends. It's a ton of fun and it's really special to do for our nation's birthday. Okay, here's what you need. Iced tea, salty pretzels, strawberries, blueberries, whipped cream, a small bell, an American coin, any American coin, and a printed Declaration of Independence. So this short ceremony teaches us the meaning of Independence Day and reminds us how lucky we all are to be Americans. We are lucky, right? Yes, yes we are. Oh, so very lucky. lucky. Okay, are you two ready for all of this? Let's go. Let's, do Let's it. go. A great way to start this party is to remember that before America was a nation, it was a... Dream. dream. It was a dream, yes. It began with the pilgrims in 1620 who fled Europe so they could be free to practice their religion as they saw fit. They built lives in a land with limitless opportunities. About 150 years later, Americans were ready to break away from the old world. And on July 4th, 1776, our founding fathers took action and declared freedom from the tyranny of the King of England. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Now, we cannot forget that thousands fought and died for the freedom and liberty we have now. And that's where we are. So, pop quiz, Amala. Why is America different from all other countries? So, in 1776, most countries were based on nationality, religion, ethnicity, or geography, and America was based on a set of ideas. That's right, and that's why I told you this is why we brought the friends, because friends know great stuff, especially you two. <laughs> Will, what are those ideas that make America so special? You can see them on every coin. You have e pluribus unum, liberty, and in God we trust. Yes! Liberty, of course, means that we're free to pursue our dreams and work hard to be as successful as we can. In God we trust. Amala, I'll let you take this one. It means that our rights are given to us by God. That's right, and no human can take away our rights. And e pluribus unum will means... From many one. America is made up of all sorts of different cultures, ethnicities, religions, but we all come together to make America what it is today. Yes, and it is unique. So, are you ready for the treats? Yes. Been ready. Yes, been ready. <laughs> okay. All of these things here on our table, things that you can put on your table, symbolize America's Declaration of Independence and the Revolutionary War that followed. So, let's start with a toast with our tea. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, we drink our sweet iced tea to remember the Boston Tea Party when patriots dumped British tea into the ocean instead of paying unfair taxes to King George. Cheers. Cheers. And everybody take a sip. <laughs> that was more than a sip, Will. It was good tea. <laughs> it's all right, it's a party. Pretzels. Now, pretzels remember the suffering of the salty tears of soldiers during the harsh winter at Valley Forge. The army was, of course, led by George Washington. Everybody take a bite. See the salt? The salty tears of the soldiers. That's what we gotta remember. And another sip of the tea. <laughs> gotta wash, wash down the salt. Mm -hmm. You got it. <laughs> our bell. Now we ring a small bell to remember when our great Liberty Bell, now in Philadelphia, rang to proclaim the surrender of King George's armies. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> America! <laughs> All right, now the best part, the part you two have been waiting for. We eat strawberries and blueberries and whipped cream to celebrate our American flag. Now, we know, of course, that the colors of our flag are red, white, and blue. Right. What does red stand for? Hardiness and valor. Yes, it means we're strong. What does blue stand for? Justice and perseverance. Yes, and white stands for purity. Okay, guys, go. That's right. amazing. Tastes like America. <laughs>
Now, we know that America is not perfect, but our ideals, opportunities, and history of always wanting to become better are things we can all be proud of, yes? Yes. And we are definitely. proud to be Americans. Of course. Of course we are. So we've got one last thing to do. Sign our names on the copy of our Declaration of Independence. Ladies first, Amala. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Jill, that is a fantastic signature. Yes! And that is our 4th of July declaration ceremony. But I have one more surprise for both of you. Do you? More whipped cream? <laughs> <laughs> Later, yes. This is a special party favor. If you haven't seen it yet, or maybe you have, our brand new Autos Tales book, The National Anthem and Pledge of Allegiance. Nice. Now this is for kindergarten through second grade, but Will, I have a feeling you're really gonna like it. Take a look on the inside. Show us the pictures. Look at that. A perfect way, beautiful, right? It's a perfect way to celebrate America and the 4th of July with your family and friends at home. You can find out more information about how to get the book on our website. And we wish all of you the happiest 4th of July ever. Keep learning and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Bye, guys. God, God bless, bless America. America. You guys are great. <laughs>